it up for a All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you might have heard me before mention the prep life. Make sure you get yourself a raffle ticket at the front door for a chance to win a free meal prep week from the prep wife. It is delicious food. My boy Dan Lee will help you out back there. All right, let's get into the first fight. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the black and white trunks and weighing in at 158 pounds. Representing the Fight Lab out of New Jersey in his debut bout, Blake Hendricks. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the red and black trunks and weighing in at 158 pounds. Representing Stockade MA in his debut bout, from right here in New York, Gavin Davidson. We are just about set for action here on Friday Night Fights. And here we go, round one underway between Davidson and Hendricks. And little, Davidson takes a spill right out of the gate. A little nervous energy there, huh? Yes, sir. Both these guys weighing in at 158 pounds just yesterday. Nice combination there by Davidson as he opens up on Hendricks. And Davidson's got a good sharp hook there. He landed it twice on Hendricks snuck it in right in the middle of his Te guard. Teep up high by Hendricks. Snuck through the guard of Davidson, but Gavin is undeterred. Gavin's looking sharp with his hands. For being both their debuts, they're looking great. Superman punch try stifled by Hendricks, Ooh. but then he's pushed back by the straight right. I think that right Davidson. hand landed right on the jaw. I think this is going to be a quick one tonight. Davidson going for the body lock here. I'm really impressed with the with the skill set of these two fighters, especially for being their debuts. Davidson turns Hendricks away. Jab try and a one-two try, capped off by a left hook from Hendricks. Good action here from both these fighters. Very good, very sound fighters, very good Davidson, hand combinations by Hendricks. Davidson wearing the red trunks with the black trim and the blue gear. Hendricks is in the black trunks with the red gear. Very tight hook. I'm, like I said, I keep saying it over and over. I'm very impressed with Davidson's left hook. He just seems to have found a home in it right there on Hendricks' chin, and he just landed it at the beginning under, of the bell. Under 30 seconds left in this opening round of action here on Friday Night Fights. Good stuff from these two young men making their respective debuts. Nice. There it goes again. Big left hook caps off that combo from Davidson. Just 19 years that. of age. Another left hook. He just can't miss with it, can he? Stuck it right in. Right hand in there as well. Good leverage on those knees. Hendricks responds with the switching knees as Jason Stroud alluded to. And there's the bell in an action-packed round one between Gavin Davidson and Blake Hendricks. And we should mention Jason Stroud if the third man in the ring tonight looks at all familiar. That's because we know him well from his exploits as a fighter. Justin Greskowitz, who you see there checking on Davidson's corner and now heading over to the right side of your screen and checking on the Hendricks corner. That is the man known as the Purple People Eater, Justin Greskowitz, a longtime pro who has now jumped into the refereeing game. And it's our first time seeing him officiate here on Friday Night Fights. We're used to him with the purple, ha the purple hair on top of his head and the facial hair. Hard to recognize here. He's all clean cut. I, it's nice to see that, though. I, I, I like seeing experienced fighters turning the referees and judges, and I think that's how it should be. And you want somebody in there that knows the sport, and Justin definitely knows the sport. Grizzled veteran has fought all over the world. That's Justin Greskowitz, and now keeping a very trained eye on two fighters making their debuts here tonight. And Davidson on the left side of the screen, Hendricks on the right. Here we go with round two. Swinging with that hook again. He had success in the first round with it. I think he should stick with it. He telegraphed that opening one there here in the second round. I mean, he, he's throwing it. He can throw it wide. He can throw it tight. It's, it's landed every single time he throws it. That one looped but still found a home for Davidson. Look at it. Every time he throws it, it lands on the side of, side of his head. Just and, not missing Hendricks. And, and Blake Hendricks, to his credit, showing, showing a good chin early on here. And, oh. Swing and a miss, a little bit of a twirl there. Spins around into a couple of body kicks coming his way. That's Hendricks in the black uh, trunks. Hey, you know what? I think Gavin just switched his stances up there. I'd like to see him 
you know, he had success in his stance, had a good strong hook, good strong hands, and then he starts switching his stance. Just stay with what works. But, you know, I, I, I guess this is their debut. They're trying new things. If you'd have seen me in my first fight. <laughs> Jason Stroud, of course, an accomplished fighter in his own right, now running the Church Street Boxing Gym in NYC, just a few blocks from where we are right now at the Broad Street Ballroom. I'm noticing that tattoo on Davison's right shoulder. It's a, is that a Sakyant, the Thai tattoo? I wonder if he spent some time in Thailand. Originally, Davidson is from Canada, comes from Guelph, Ontario, in the southwestern part of Ontario, but now he calls uh, upstate New York home. That, Stock e that explains it, Canada. Those, those are some tough fighters. Stockade Martial Arts is in Kingston, New York, not far from Poughkeepsie. He's down here in NYC for his debut under the bright lights, and he's putting on a show right now, a little bit of everything. He is, he, he's, he's definitely representing Kingston, where they got a good boxing background. Uh, Billy Costello was from there, a lot of other great fighters. Deep boxing background up there in Kingston. And he's representing it pretty good with the hands he's throwing tonight. Davidson trains under J.J. Russo and Chris Mosseri up there at Kingston. And in Kingston, New York at Stockade Martial Arts while Blake Hendricks fights under fits to his own in Cliffside Park at the Fight Lab. So two rounds in the books for these two Class B fighters making their respective debuts. Davidson on the left side of your screen just 19 years of age entering action tonight. Blake Hendricks is 26. You're watching Friday Night Fights, the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. Ari Lagami with Jason Strout once again from the ball, ball, the Broad Street Ballroom, I should say, in Lower Manhattan. And the man leaning up against the ropes, the referee, Justin Greskowitz, longtime pro, and now in the officiating game as well. So great to see Justin bringing his expertise to the ring yeah, these in a fight, different way. These fighters are in good hands tonight with Justin exactly. as the referee. So often you hear fighters complain about kind of being either judged or refereed by guys who aren't as experienced as Davidson lands a thudding hook to the body to open the third round. Oh, but then eats takes a, a head, head kick. kick. Yeah. Wow. Good response from Blake Hendricks. It's like and a, a knee. It's a battle of the boxer versus the knees and the kicks in this fight. We'll see if that head kick changes the tenor of this bout because it looked like Davidson was set to resume his control. Oh, very right nice pullback. Shoots that right hand right down the middle. So obviously Davidson undeterred by the head kick. He keeps on coming. I think if anything, a little fire under him. Say, hey, let's get this guy out of here. He's still dangerous. Can't count anybody out. They're still in it to the very end. Hendricks loading up on the knee there. Land anything at any time, can't they? Left hook again got in there. It was a short one from you know, Davidson. He was having success with that left hook earlier, which is great. But it almost seems like, like Hendricks kind of is looking for it now, and he's not expecting that right hand, because every time that Davidson throws the right hand, it's landing when he throws it straight. Not like that. Good clinch on the inside by Hendricks. Under a minute oh, left. There goes that head kick again. Tries to sneak up. <laughs> Eats a right hand. Davidson was ready for the second one. And just 19 years of age, this young man from Guelph, Ontario. Big left hook again. That's the signature and a combination. There's that right hand I was telling you about. It seems like the left hand was landing a lot, but the right hand is what's doing the damage. Set it up with the hook and shoot that right hand right down the middle. Now, if you would have followed it up with the right hand, I... I think this fight might be over. Final 15 seconds here between Davidson and Hendricks. Davidson is. Better watch that left hand coming a little low. Inside. Hendricks might sneak that right that right kick upstairs on the side of his head. One more left hook lands for Davidson and it knocks the mouthpiece out of the mouth of Blake Hendricks. Oh, we got must have like five seconds left. <laughs> Justin Greskowitz will replace the mouthpiece. As time expires in this three-round battle, Davidson and Hendricks go the distance on Friday Night Fights. You know, I'm looking forward to see uh, Gavin Davidson in the blue corner, a little more of him as his career goes on. And 19 years old, I'm sure we'll see a lot more of him. Take a look at some of the action here from the final moments of this fight, and it was Davidson. He took that head kick right there, and it looked like maybe Blake Hendricks would have a chance to turn the tide in this fight. 
but Davidson reasserted himself pretty quickly and again with that left hand. That was the big weapon throughout this fight, Jason. Definitely was. He was landing that all night long. He just couldn't miss. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed. No fights between the two of these fighters, and they put on a great showing. And had a pretty high energy level throughout. Definitely, Usually yeah. The they, guys yeah. making their debuts kind of run out of gas. Nerves, that energy, the crowd kind of gets to them. But, yeah, they it, it, it shows a lot from where they come from. It shows that they have a good, strong camp. They're obviously showing them how to do it correctly in the gym. And if you're if you're Gavin Davidson, it must be nice to be 19 years old. That's oh, all I no can kidding, say. right? You get energy for days. Justin Greskowitz assembles the fighters in the center of the ring. <laughs> Let's go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judges A, B, and C all see this fight 27 30 in favor of Gavin Davidson. Well, not much of a surprise there. Jason Stroud, Gavin Davidson, very impressive in his first fight, and that left hook. And uh, the rest of the repertoire was pretty effective in this one. Oh, definitely. I think he was putting together the better combinations, scoring the more damaging blows. I think the judges got it right on this one. A strong debut for Gavin Davidson out of Stockade Martial Arts. This is Friday Night Fight.